what is the business that we're working on? Ah. Let's not say what it is, but should we say what it's called? Yeah. Okay. It is called... Amy with me today we are making our very favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe it's actually our brother-in-law's aunt's recipe and we've been using it in our family for like what like 15 years I feel like how long have they been married 12 12 something like that a long time it's yeah. so good so while we make the cookies we have some questions that you guys sent in so we're gonna answer them all about Amy's dating life and sister life so yeah okay first up is Amy what is your worst date story ever worst or most like embarrassing because like either, I, I have a either. couple well, maybe we can do both okay my worst date story was um so if you're from Utah you know we love Swig <laughs> oh my Shout gosh this story sponsor me anyway so I was living in Provo and there's a swig like right down the street and I would go all the time and there was like the cutest boy working the drive through and me and Megan and our other friends who lived with us we would always say like how cute this boy is anyway <laughs> so one day I'm in the drive through I think you were with me yeah yeah was it me and Taylor were with you I think right I think so yeah so we're in the drive-thru and I'm like ordering my drink and he was like, you're so pretty, like, can I have your number? And I was like, oh my gosh, like the cute boy asked my number and I was like, oh my gosh, like, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so I gave him my number, we were texting, whatever, and he was like, um, he was like, so, Here, I can do this while you tell so that you don't get sidetracked. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm like trying to help you, but yeah, I don't, it's fine. So he was like, so, I think, um, we should go country dancing. And I was like, ah, on a first ah. date, like, that's kind of a lot. And I'm like very shy and yeah. reserved when I don't know people. And it was just us two. Like, we weren't going with like a big group. Like, so I didn't even have like a friend or like somebody that I knew that was going with me. And I was like, I like truly don't want to go country dancing. <laughs> like, anyway, so I texted him and I was like, cause he, he asked me, he was like, what do you think of that? And like, hate to be that girl, but I was like, you have to say it how it is. I was just like, oh, like, I'm, I'm not a dancer. Like, we should just like go get a treat. Like, first dates for me are the best when they're like kind of short. Short and sweet. And yeah, because there's nothing worse than like having your date being like so long and dragged out. And then you're like, Especially okay. Especially if you don't like them. Yeah, and you're like, okay, like, what do I ask this person next? Like, yeah. anyway, so I was like, we should get a treat or whatever. And he was like, no, I think we should go country dancing. And I was like, no, I, I, and then at that point I was like so annoyed. And I was like, no, I literally don't want to go country dancing. Like I literally <laughs> said that to him. And he was like, okay, well, we'll talk about it. Like when I pick you up and like all of my guy friends were like, there's no way he's going to take you. He knows you don't want to go. Like it's a first date. Like he's trying to impress you. Like there's no way you're actually going to go. So I get in his car and he's like, he just like starts driving and like we're talking and I'm like, okay, maybe we'll go get like frozen yogurt or ice cream or whatever. Anyway, we go country dancing. And he was like, sorry, I'm making you go. And I was like, ha 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 ha. Okay. Like if anybody knows me, they know that like, one, I don't like being told what to do. I actually want to do the opposite when somebody tells me what to do. And so I was already just like, dude, you know, I don't want to go country dancing. Why are you trying to force this? Like I was so annoyed. He wanted to show off his skills and yeah. like throw you in the air. Absolutely not. Anyway, so rewind just a little bit. Before I left, I was with Megan in our apartment with all of our guy friends, and they were like, if it's bad, text us. What was our code word? Code was like, word was 
pineapple. Oh. Our code word was pineapple. If I texted them pineapple, they were gonna call me with some emergency and <laughs> I would have to leave. <sighs> oh, this is such a long story. I'm like getting winded. <laughs> anyway, do we need to mix it? Yeah. Well, should I finish? Or yeah, should finish, I... finish. Okay. So, I liked, I'm texting Megan, which is so rude, like horrible etiquette on a first day and I'm like, we're going country dancing. Like I'm so <laughs> mad right now. And she was like, no, it's fine. Like just have fun. It actually was fun. Like I like, I felt like it did kind of break the ice a little yeah. bit, but like I, it was still just like horrible cause it was just us two. And like, it, it's country dancing. Like, and there were like literally professionals like being like thrown around and he was like, we should try that. And I was like, uh, no, like, no, like I'll really. just stick with like the line dance, whatever. <laughs> Anyway, so oh after God. country dance, he was like, well, I know you love swig, so like, let's go get a swig. And I was like, okay. So then he was like, he was like, so do you have a TV in your apartment? And I was like, yeah, why? And he was like, oh, are your roommates home? And I was like, yeah, why? And he was like, okay, we'll go back to my place. And I was like, wait. I was <laughs> like, wait, I'm like, I'm kind of scared now, like, no. But, like, I didn't know what to say. I was just like, okay. So then we walk into his house. His entire family is sitting there. I, like, met his mom and dad and his brother. And I was like, <laughs> hey. It's, like, 11 p.m. too. Like, they, like, waited up. Because it was, like, his family's house. Yeah, it was, his, right. it was his parents' house. Anyway, so we go into the basement, and we, like, turn on the show. And he was like, I'm going to run to the bathroom really fast. And I was like, okay. I instantly text Megan and all my girlfriends. I'm like, pineapple, 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 pineapple. Like, someone come get me. Like, anyway, so he comes back and he was like, what movie should we watch? And I was like, oh, like, I have to get up so early tomorrow. Like, it's already 11. Like, I should probably go back home. And he was like, no, we'll just watch like 10 minutes of this movie. It's super funny. Oh. And I was like, no, like, I want to go home. Like, I don't want to watch this movie with you. Like, I'm scared. And then he was like, he was like, also, how old are you? And I was like, <laughs> at that point, I think I was like 20. I think I was 21, either 20 or 21. And I was like, how old are you? And he was like, oh, I'm 18. And I was like, hmm. Like, I was fuming at that point. <laughs> and he was, and he was like, once you're out of high school, age is just a number. Like, and no, I was like, not. literally, it's July. You just graduated high school. <laughs> like, you can't say that to me when you haven't even been out of high school for a year yet. Like, it's been a month. I was like, I was so mad. Anyway, <laughs> we watched the entire movie. It was actually a really funny movie. I can't remember what it was called, but it was actually hilarious. But I, and he like kept trying to kiss me and I was like, like I kept like dodging him and then he was like, he was like, why, like, why won't you kiss me? And I was like, oh, like, I just like, I don't, I don't kiss, kiss on the first date. Like so typical, excuse. but it's like, I was just so mad. Anyway, I didn't get home till like one in the morning and all my, all my guy friends like texted back and they were like, do you really like, do you need us to come get you? Like, where are you? Like we'll call. And I was like, I like felt bad. Yeah. And I was like, no, it's fine. But this is the thing. Don't feel bad. Like looking back now that I'm like three or four years older, I should have just been like, no, I don't want to watch a movie. I actually want to go home. home. Or I should have had Megan call me and be like, oh my gosh, I just got a flat tire or my car got towed. Classic excuse in Provo, Utah. Cars <laughs> always get towed. I've used that excuse before. But like, don't be scared because you're gonna hurt their feelings or like you don't know what to say. Like, as a young girl, it is intimidating, but like, don't be scared to say something. Yeah. Because why? Don't be like, scared to say no. Like, yeah. even if it's just as simple as like watching a movie, you didn't want to watch the movie. Yeah, but I was he like, kept oh, I you. felt bad. And then he kept trying to kiss me and I was like, oh, I don't no. kiss on the first date. But it's like, no, I should have just been like, no, I don't want to kiss you. Or no, I don't want to watch this movie. I want you to take me home or I'm going to have somebody come get me. Like, yeah. you can be straight up. Yeah, go on my hands. Anyway, long story oh. short, that was the worst date. Uh, so we're going to mix now. So, most switch me spots. Okay. This can be the talking side and then yeah. here are the cooking side. Okay, so I have two, kind of. So I'll try to make them short so I can do both because they're both freaking funny. So the first one, I got... um. It was my friend's wedding 
and there was like a boy from her hometown there and I thought he was super cute and we like talked the whole night it was really fun so then at the end of the night he like asked for my number and um asked me on a date so we go whatever plan the date he picks me up at my apartment and like our apartment doors are locked from the outside so he couldn't come up to my door to get me so he waited outside i i seriously go outside this boy is leaned up against his car like i can't you can't even see me like arms folded one foot up against the car like with like these like weird big sunglasses on like like he thought he was like so cool so i was like oh boy he already seemed like so different than he was at the wedding so then he's like um so my whole family's in town too and um they're all at the chocolate but first we're gonna go to nordstrom rack and pick out wedding shoes for um my brother's wedding and i was like oh, okay <laughs> like okay so we go to nordstrom rack i meet his mom his dad his brother his grandma literally the whole family so then after we pick out the shoes and they're like asking my opinion i'm like oh, i think i like these ones whatever so we go to the chocolate Again, his whole family's there. His like grandma's like grilling me with with questions, and then um, after that, we um, get in the car, and I'm like, it was like maybe nine o'clock, so I was like, it's fine if we want to do something else, but if you want to take me home, that's fine too. That's what I was thinking, and he's like, so uh, what do you want to do? And I was like, uh, I mean, I don't care. Like, what time is it? And he's like, oh, it's only nine, so. I'm like, oh, like whatever, we can do anything. And he's like, oh, well, uh, let me think. And then he goes, do you wanna go to Squaw Peak and back? You have to explain to them what Squaw Peak is. Okay, so Squaw Peak is like this lookout spot in Provo that is like notorious. notorious. Like that's where all the freshmen go because the freshmen have to live in these dorms and they share a room. So like, and you can't have boys in your room. Yeah, and so, They'll like go up to like the lookout and like look at the view and like and then like make out. out. It's like, it's like so, a joke. Yeah, it, it's like a joke. Like I actually don't even know personally anyone who's actually gone to Squaw Peak. Yeah, I've never been there to make out. No, I've never been there. I've never been there either. But he like dead serious. Like I thought maybe he was joking. No, he was <laughs> dead serious. He wanted to go to Squaw Peak and Mac, and I was like Mac. The fact and that Mac, he said Mac. That, that, those were his exact words. You're like, Squawk and Mac. No. I was like, I'll, I'll pass, but like, thanks um, for the offer, sir. No. Yeah, I don't what did you say? That. I was like, Real. so caught off guard, and I couldn't. I was like, trying to figure out if he was joking. He was not joking. So I was like, um, actually, like, I have early practice in the morning, so it's probably like, like better if I just go home. And luckily, he wasn't super pushy, and he just took me home. But I was like, that was the weirdest freaking thing in my life. Yeah. So there were a lot of other weird things that happened on that, but that's kind of like the short version. Okay, what are we doing next? I need to mix. Okay, mix. Okay. So my second dating story. Oh, this one was horrible. So it was after um, a basketball game, a BYU basketball game. So I was like, Wait, in, is this the one you fell at? No, I don't think it was that one. Um, so my sister Emily, I don't remember. Did I she was set like you guys staying, up. Yeah, she set us up, and I was for some reason staying at her house that night. I think maybe I was like watching her kids in the morning or something. So I'm at her house, and I need a knife. Okay, and um, I just had like my cougar uniform on, and Emily's like text that boy and I was like no I can't text him anyway he ended up texting me and wanted to hang out and Emily's like you have to go in your cougarette uniform and I was like no that is so weird and Emily and Rachel were like no yeah, that like, is so, so darling so yeah. like I like, really you are like darling. they love the word darling you look darling like I remember the exact one it was like um silver sequin like tank top oh, and it was yeah. like our shortest one that we had so scandalous. Super scandalous. For BYU. Especially for BYU. So, oh my gosh. Anyway, they make me wear it. I, I wear it because. Because when you have uh, three old, two older sisters, you, you just, just you, you just do, do it, it because you don't want to hear them say it anymore. Yeah. 
So I wear the uniform. He comes and picks me up. And I'm like, sorry, like, I, I don't have any I just, I didn't clothes. have anything else to change it. Like, I know. Dirty. Like, all of them are dirty. I don't know where they this went. This is all I had. Sorry. Um, so we go to his house. His mom's there. His sister's there. They're so cute. We're talking. And I was like, I think I like him. Like, he's super cute. His family's super nice. Whatever. We go downstairs. And he's like, do you just, like, want to watch a movie? And I'm like, classic. Sure. Whatever. Do you Wait, watch was this movie? your first date with him? Or was this, like, a second, like, hangout? I know it's it because just so that's it. a I boy. Think so I think this All was our second about. date because I because I invited him to the gingerbread party and I know I didn't invite him to the gingerbread party after this happened. <laughs> oh, that's true. So anyway, I think this was after like later in the basketball season. So we're watching the movie and like we're like kind of talking and he was just giving me like weird vibes. Yeah. I wasn't feeling it. Okay, Shannon, you're coming. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I was not feeling it, and I was like, okay. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh, oh, I didn't know you were standing right there. Yeah. Okay. Girl. So then, I, like, he starts, like, inching his way closer to yeah. me. He, like, starts, like, talking, like, a little bit more flirty, and I could just tell, like, he wanted to kiss me, and I was like, Ugh. Well, who wouldn't in your cougar at uniform? <laughs> Silver sequence. Okay, so like, you're being so loud. I Okay, go, go. Okay, so I'm like, Ugh, what do I do? Like, should I just pretend to fall asleep? Oh, I, was that. I think that was three. I think, I think that might have been. No, that was three. So then this is four. Oh! Okay. Four and a half. No, it's, it's not four and a half. Oh, yeah, but because she overdid it. Yeah. So I'm trying to fall asleep, but we were just talking, so like I couldn't totally do it. Some of them are stuck together because um, they melted in it's my car when I went to the grocery coconut. store. You know what? Classic pretend to be asleep. Fall asleep. Fall asleep. My go-to. Just, just zonk. Yeah, so that didn't work because we had just been talking. Like, I couldn't do it fast enough. He's, he's like, like hello. Yeah. So then he tries to kiss me. And I just like really was not ready for it. I was going to He's like stop him, but he came in at like a hundred miles speed. an hour, like Light. literally lightning speed. Light. Yes, lightning speed so fast. I like flew back, cause I was like kind of sitting up a little bit. I flew back into the couch. Before I know it, he's on top of me. His face was so like forced into mine that like my nose was being squished <laughs> and then his mouth was just like on mine and I literally could not breathe. Like I felt like someone was like suffocating me. So I was like trying to like figure out like how to like get this person off of me. Finally I manage it and I'm like, <gasps> like <laughs> finally I can come up for some breath. But then I was like, can you take me home? I have to watch Emily's kids tonight and pull whatever. I was like, oh, it was horrible. Okay, it says one package. I don't know. Well, let's just like take these chunks out that melted and then we'll just like kind of pour it in and then. I know. Look, my chocolate chips melted in the car. Anyway, just do like, you know, a bunch. But try not to get the white in there because I have some white mixed in. So that was awful in every way. I seriously thought I might some Kate and die that night. Oh, Duke, he got the Crisco. He got the Crisco! Ah! Ah! Duke, it's empty. No, don't eat the metal. That, that's not food. Ah! He, he ate it. He still has some in his mouth. I, I can't get it. Come wash your hands. You're so annoying. Oh. Cleanliness is next to godliness. <laughs> Cookies are almost done. So our next question is, what article of clothing has caused the biggest fight between the sisters? Ooh. All the sisters are just us. Cause I think it my answer is just us. My answer is between me and you and Rachel. Oh, Rachel. Yeah. So when, I don't even know how old we were. We were like really young. And exactly remember. Anyway, back to the story. Rachel for Halloween. Rachel was a. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
<laughs> she I was remember a, this. a sexy nurse. nurse. And she had this cute little oh, white swan. dress with these like white, like go -go super boots. tall go-go boots. And she Honestly, was shocking that Shannon let her dress as that. It was, it was, it, the dress actually came long, but the, the tall boots were extra. Maybe, it, it, whatever. Anyway, so not only did Rachel wear these to Hall like Halloween party, whatever she went to, she would also stand in front of that full length mirror and she would like film herself doing like the Pussycat Doll dances and the Britney Spears dances in her white boots. It's so funny. And so me and Amy being like, wow, our older sister is so cool. Like they want to be just like her. We would do the same thing. Right. Amy and I would switch off wearing these boots. And we were wearing the boots, filming our dance. No, we weren't wearing them. I think we were like holding them. I don't, we had the boots. We had the boots in our possession. I don't remember exact details of the story because it was so long ago, but I remember she came home. Rachel came up the stairs, I think like home from school or something like that. She comes up the stairs fuming, fuming. Yeah. Very, very passionate person about her boots. About the white boots. About the white boots. This is the like original white boot saga. OG. The OG. So she is so mad. Like, I've never seen someone so bad in my life that we had her white boots. Yeah, I she don't even was remember. Like, she was like an angsty teenager. Like, she was, <laughs> I was actually so terrified of yeah. her. Uh -huh. Like, whenever my mom would force her to babysit us, I would always call we my grandma. grandma and be like, I'm like, she's being so, so mean. I swear she did it on purpose because my grandma would always come pick us up. Yeah. And then she would like, she was like, she okay, like, to us. I gotta go hang out with my friends now. And I was like, you're actually so mean to me. You're so mean. So funny. Anyway, keep going. An angsty teenager. She really was. She was. was so so anyway, I don't really remember the details of the story. I just remember that I'm scarred for life of, about the white boots. Okay. The biggest fight that Megan and I would get into when we were younger over an article of clothing is the bra. The bra! Oh my we gosh! Had, we had like one Literally new bra that we like both were obsessed with. And then we had like one black bra. Yeah. Like literally, oh, we that only was had it. two bras. That like, was Shannon was and like, you're shared. fine, you can share, like, whatever. And Emily and Rachel's boobs were way bigger than mine and Megan's because they would get like the bombshell Victoria's Secret yeah. bras. And me and Megan had like, we were the dinky, flat as like, words. like, no padding like, bra. Um, like, wasn't it like Calvin Klein or something? Yeah. And it had padding in it, but like it totally like gaped on us. Like it yeah, was it too big. Anyway, so we went to a school that had uniforms, and that day I wanted to wear my white uniform. White polo. And I was, and Megan, when she was in high school, she would do ballet at like five in the morning and then go to school. So she would always take her clothes with her to ballet. And I was like, Megan, where the hell is my bra? Hey. <laughs> Sorry, where the heck is my bra? Like, you wore it yesterday, I get to wear it today, you're such a brat, like, no, I can't wear the shirt that I wanted to wear. At least once a week, we Every would get into time. fights about the bra. Because it was like, if you wore the navy polo, you wore the black bra. If you wore the white polo, you wore the, um, the nude bra. bra. Yeah. We both wanted to wear the white polo that day. Yeah, it was, yeah, traumatic. Just that, that was our fight. <laughs> once we a week. so many of the, oh my gosh, the bra. So our next question is, um, what are the top five things that you are looking for in a guy? Well, looks or personality? Let's, or both? Let's do like a mix of both. Like do like, okay, number one, height. Yeah. I like somebody really tall. I feel like you don't really have like a looks wise type other no, than height. I don't, yeah. Height is you like my, a lot of different yeah kinds of boys. Height is my biggest. And then personality, like you have to be funny, you have to make me laugh. Mm -hmm. And they have to be more outgoing because I'm more reserved, so I need somebody to like bring out like You're funny. My fun side. You're so funny. Thank you. But you're just, you're really shy. Yes. Yeah. It takes me a while to warm up to somebody. So I'm sure like people, like other guys who are like more shy or like more reserved on the first date are probably like, 
This girl is so this girl boring. Is a mute. <laughs> because like I don't talk. One. And like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to like um like have somebody tell me, like rate me on like a first date, you know? Like that would be yeah. so funny. They're like, you could be more talkative. That would be my number one point. Anyway, so yeah, I need somebody that's more outgoing to like bring out my yeah. side. You How have someone that's that? a hard worker. Yeah, hard worker. Those are like obvious things. Yeah. Nice. Like has ambition. Honest. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I'm asking for a whole lot. <laughs> Tall, funny, hardworking. Those are like my top three. Yeah. So, if you know anyone tall, funny, and hardworking, <laughs> send them her way. Send them my way because I'm in need. Maybe we should um, do 10 dates in 10 days. Oh, that sounds horrible. And I need at least. We can give you a couple days off. I need at days. least two days to mentally prepare. And Tell then at least. Can three days to mentally recover <gasps> so we can have people send that's in that's my week applications for boys that they want to set you up with and it, me and Zach and Emily and Rachel and their husbands can go spy on your dates <laughs> oh my gosh maybe I'll end up dating one of them I mean you that never know that would be hilarious that would be really funny but just like so scary I hate dating like I actually hate my biggest like ick is going on a first date. Like, you know, like when you're like at a restaurant and you're like, oh, they're totally on a first date. And like, they're like, yeah. So where are you from? How old are you? What yeah. did you graduate in school? Like, just like the dumbest first questions that you're like, I know you don't actually care. You just like don't have anything else to ask yeah. me. Yeah, but it's hard because like you have to ask those questions. I, I know it's necessary, but it's just like, oh, I hate it. It like makes me cringe. Oh, I hate it so much. Okay, so now that we're on the topic of dating, let's talk about the dating culture in Utah. So many people have like questions about it. I feel like it's like people are like serial daters. They yeah. just go on date, 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 and like everyone Never is wanna like, settle down. Yeah, like people always say like, oh, I'm trying to like look for the person I want to marry, but I feel like people always think like the grass is greener. So they're like, they just like go on date after date after date after date, and like no one's ever good enough. I don't know, I feel like that's kind of how it is. Yeah. I also think, like, um, with, like, all the dating apps, like, I know, I know a lot of people meet their husbands on dating apps, but, like, me personally, well, okay, not me personally, but my roommate who is on a dating app, like, it's just hookups. Oh, by the way, yeah. when I say hookup, because we're LDS, it's not sex. Like, it's just, like, a makeout. It's like, you make out. Yeah. And, like, if you're really feeling it, you really want to say hook up. No, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say what? Dry humping? We call it derfing here. No, derfing. Zipper sparking. Levi loving. A lot of terms for it. A lot of terms. There are some terms in Provo that I truly believe are a myth. I truly I believe it's a myth. I literally don't know one person who's ever even no. thought about doing that. Well, first of all, can we? Okay. It doesn't even make sense. The right? like the term is very uh, like associated with like members of our the, church. Of our church. Wait, and did you set the timer. Oh crap. <gasps> no, I did. I did. Okay, okay. Okay. Um. And I do not know why because I have never heard of anyone ever doing that. No. Like I. No. I think it's a myth. I truly do. Yeah. Because like we lived in apartments with like. 400 people in them. Yeah. And like you're in the ward, like your church or whatever, like your community, whatever you want to call it. And like you like talk and like all Everyone the girls talk knows about what dating. Everyone's like, doing. Yeah. Like I've literally never, ever. It's always like, oh, my friend's roommate. It's always a friend of a friend. It's never it's always like, like someone or, or my cousin's friend said that this girl that she knows did. And like, yeah. So like, I, it's a myth. I don't believe if it. If you personally have ever done that, <laughs> please DM me because like I'm confused that you're confused that you don't think that it's that the makes same sense. Thing. It's because the it's the same. Thing. It's the same thing. <laughs> it is the same thing. It's the same. So I just so. don't think that that's truly 
a thing. It's a myth. I'm convinced. I think people just like say it like to be funny. Yeah, and also like people on the internet, like when they're like, oh, Mormons and their whatever, it's like, come on, you're just doing it to get clickbait. Let's yeah, be honest. Yeah. Like, or like nobody actually does that. These are the TikToks that are popping up on my page right now. Oh, or I've seen ones. it a couple times, like where um, someone's like jumping on the bed and they're like, oh, well, I've seen that. Mormon, and I'm like, what? No, they're just doing, exactly. That's exactly my point. They're doing it to get people talking in their comments and be like, wait, like, is this real? That's so weird. It's just clickbait. Yeah. So we have officially debunked it. It's not a thing. No one does that. No. Maybe there's one weird person out there. I don't know. Um. Okay, we have a few questions left. Um, my best dating advice. Oh my gosh. This is, I say this every single time. I think, and I always tell the same before she goes on a date, because I feel like before you go on a date, you're like nervous and you're like, you want to portray yourself in the way that you think that they're like gonna like you, yeah. right? Yeah. So you like either aren't totally 100% yourself, you're like kind of reserved, you're whatever. So my best dating advice is to just 100% be yourself because you can't say the wrong thing to the right person and like you can't like act the, time the right. wrong way for the right person. So that is my dating advice. Just be yourself. Have you heard of um, Tinks's box theory? Oh, Do you know I who Tinks is? And she talks on her microphone? Yeah, I love her. I love her too. She went on Nick Vile's um, podcast and she was yeah. explaining box theory. And it was kind of the same thing. Like she was saying like, so many people get caught up like, oh, I can't sleep with a boy on the first date because he won't like me. Yeah. And she's like, no, if he likes you, he likes you. And that doesn't matter if you sleep with him on the first date or you sleep with him four months in. Like, yeah, if he likes you, he likes you. Like he puts you into like these boxes. And once you're in a box, you're you can't probably get not going to get out. Yeah. No, it's true. And that's like the same thing with like the like dating culture in our church. Like people think that same thing. Like, oh, if you kiss on the first date, you're done. They're never gonna call you again. They're never gonna, they just wanna like hook up and whatever. Zach and I kissed on our first date. Slot. Emily Taylor kissed on their first date. That's I don't true. know. I, I, I totally agree with that. If they like you, they like you. If they don't, they don't. I think people use that as like an excuse to like or make like, themselves feel yeah. better. Yeah. Which is like totally fine course. if you wanna do that. You know That's what? That's fine. Go for it. Um, okay. Anything else you wanna say about dating culture in Utah? It sucks. <laughs> Dating is so freaking hard. Yeah. And I feel like it's, it, I'm sure it is. I mean, at least people that I talk to who aren't LDS, like um, my friend lives in um, DC and she's like, it's just hard because she's like, I wish I was like freaking Mormon because then I could like at least know that like some of the people I'm going on dates with want something more than just like a one night stand. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I think dating in general is just really hard. Yeah, dating sucks it doesn't no matter, matter who you are, where you live, what yeah. culture you're in. Dating culture in general just sucks, especially right now. I just feel like all of the guys, and some of the girls too, I just feel like right now nobody wants to settle down. They no just like wants wanna, to commit. They just want to hook up because they're like, oh, well, I'm talking to these four girls on Instagram and like, this one's pretty, but this one's prettier, but like we haven't hung out yet, so like I'm gonna keep my options open just in case she wants, it's like, yeah. You're not, I feel like people aren't truly giving people like a fair like a good chance. chance. Yeah. So, anyway. It'll happen when it's, it's meant to happen. Okay, Um. what do you think Zach and I should name our baby? Your baby boy? Mm-hmm. I think that you should name him Harvey. Because I think I Harvey like Hunsaker sounds so cute as a little boy and like a grown adult. Like, yeah. Harvey Hunsaker, attorneys at law. Attorneys at law. But I can't. Like, it's so cute. It is really cute. I do like that. And Zach like, doesn't like that name though. The double H is really cute. Yeah. It's cute. I don't know. No, I really like that too. But I know Zach doesn't like it, which is annoying. I know. So it's like, I like it, but it's not like. You don't love it. That's my child. Same. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll we have one last question. Okay. Okay. What is the business that we're working on? 
Let's not say what it is, but should we say what it's called? Yeah. Okay. It is called Glow by Scala. We already have an Instagram, a Pinterest, mm -hmm. and we are working on our website right now. So the like splash page where you can go sign up for our newsletter will be up soon. It's not there yet. Mm -hmm. Um, but go follow us and we'll start leaving like little like clues and hints as to what it is. We're getting really, really close. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we're really excited. Yay! These are the best freaking cookies in the world. Should we give them a taste test? I want this one. All right, here we are, cookies. When you first pull them out of the oven, oh, when you first pull them out of the oven, they like kind of look underdone, but I promise they're not. They're like perfectly golden on the bottom, and then they like kind of finish cooking on the pan. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. But I mean, if you like your cookies crispy, then leave them in a little bit longer, but I like them mm -hmm. warm and gooey. Mm-hmm. Do you like it? Yeah, it's amazing. These are the best cookies ever. Same work. We debated mm -hmm. doing pumpkin chocolate mm -hmm. chip, but these are better, honestly. They are. Just a classic. They're really, really good. Alrighty. Really good. So, well, thanks for joining us. Click subscribe. Hit that bell button. <laughs> I watched BFF <laughs> podcast last night and they always do that. Hit the bell. Subscribe. Comment below mm -hmm. what you want to see next. Yeah. <laughs> if you have any other questions, maybe we'll answer them in another video. But thanks for watching. <laughs>